Hello everyone, welcome back to Reverse 1999 and today I'm going to talk about my honest take upon reaching the end game in this game. So what is the end game in Reverse 1999? So I think the end game is the limbo stages. Let me show you the limbo stage, how far I progressed through the limbo stages. I've managed to finish limbo stage 16, uh, barely, barely finish it. I've been struggling to finish this, uh, this 15-2 and 16-2. I've been struggling because I basically like did messed up. I messed up my account. So I'm going to like show you what I can do better and what units did I use to beat the stages. Um, okay, what do we have here? Okay, by looking at my account, you might be thinking, oh, I have so many S tier units, right? I have Centurion, I have Beacon Bloom, I have Eternity, Sort of B, Drivius. You know, I have so many S tier. You might be thinking, I'm, you know, I don't know how to play the game. Like, I, I, how can I struggle? Like, uh, this is because myself uh, listened to the tier list online, and I think I have a better grabs now and I can give you guys a better idea on how to progress this game smoother right so I'm going to review like all the units I use uh, first is eternity for eternity if you have her good she is very useful you can get her up to I-250, you do not need her at I-3, but if you get her to I-3, he, she basically can solo or half solo, basically you can use her and then with any other like units like the Free Apple, Eagle, Eagle and this Leilani, and then they, she can get through the stage dash 1, the 15 dash 1, 16 dash 1, she can get through it easily. Uh, the hard part is actually dash 2. So I'm going to talk about that later. So next is uh, Centurion. Centurion, I believe, is recommended by everyone. Uh, she actually is, uh, I can confirm you that the Centurion has the highest DPS. This is correct. However, this might not be the best uh, start character for you. I'll explain it later. And then I use Beacon Bloom. Um, my take is the BK, I'll call her BK. BK is basically broken. I regret not leveling up her. If I leveling up her up until I2 and then Resonance 10, I'm pretty sure she can be my main DPS and I will struggle less. Uh, sort of B, I got Sort of B. Sort of B is a great healer. Uh, she also is quite useful in version 1.0 because of the elements. Uh, Lassos. Lassos is crucial in stage, the last stage, the 16-2. I purposely upgrade her until around this level, the I-220, to use her to beat the stage. And then I got Druis in version 1.1. I got her about 50 pool, which is uh, quite lucky. And then I use her as a CC. CC is also very crucial to be six, uh, 16 and 15 dash 2. Um, I also use Sonato. Sonato is quite useful uh, before I got Druvis. I use Sonato for her disarm. But the sad part is 16 dash 2 is immune to disarm. So that, that is the downside of Sonato. But I believe Sonato will be useful in the next Limbo, right? The Limbo is left with 5 days, so the meta is changing. And then, yep, these are basically the units that I use. I sometimes use Leilani at, as my fourth character. And then when she pops out, she will give Moxie to everyone. Sometimes it is useful. You can use like some other sacrificial units as well. There's guides online, and I, I can do the guide if you want. Uh, Baby Blue is quite good. She she will decrease enemy attack, and she's quite tanky 
Oh yeah, another thing, good thing about Sonetto is she gives damage reduction. I believe here. She gives them damage, uh, reduced damage taken for all ally. So this is also a very good thing if you are underpowered. So I'm going to show you like how how to beat Limbo Stage with the lowest like lowest resource, right? If I can upgrade everyone to I3, of course everyone and any unit can beat the Limbo Stage. But I'm talking about beating Limbo Stage without any I3 units right now. So okay, I'm going to show you the online tier list, right? In the online tier list, everyone suggested for the the century on. Okay, let's go to Pride Win Reroll Guide. Okay, so the rerolling, this is fine. I'm going to show you the reroll suggested units. Right. They actually suggested the century on Anan Lee, Beacon Bloom, and Charlie as well as the balloon party. I'm going to go one by one on what I think. Um, for Centrion, she is the uh, strongest unit by far, yes, true, but the fact is in version 1.0, you do not need the beast element, right? You need star and plant element. So, in version 1.1, we have Melania at, as our pickup banner. So, my opinion is that Centurion might not be the best unit. Uh, you can get someone else to cover up the plant and star. And then, in version 1.1, you get this type unit. So, Centurion, this is the only downside. But if you do not care about beating version 1.0, then it is fine. But An Lee is uh, very good. She is absolutely broken. She has the stun. And as, as I said, the plant unit and the CC is very important. So Beacon Plume is, and Charlie, this is the two uh, best unit, I think, because the for 1.0, their element is perfect. And Balloon Party, because she is a healer. Instead of Lasso, she is the like second healer. If we can restart the game, I'm going to show you like my guide on how to get the smoothest game play, and the target is to beat all the limbo stages. Like how can we beat the game with the smoothest progression? Because uh, for my experience, by upgrading this i3 uh, eternity takes me too long to upgrade it even with the three apple that she needs for i3 comes from the the event she still takes me around like one week or so the energy for me to upgrade it to i3 i think that if i can get other units up to i250 would be better so in that it, Keep that in mind, and the guide will be my my guide will be based on I two level fifty, right? So if we can restart the game, and the goal is to beat all the limbo stages, we have to focus on the one point zero, and then the one point one limbo, right? So we all know that in the version one point zero, the element the counter element is star and plant. But actually, what you need is plant unit. This is very important. As the star unit is the dash one, I can beat stage dash one with I2 Eternity, I2 Centurion. I believe any other DPS can do the job. So that one is fine. However, for the dash two, plant unit is crucial. So let's go back to the tier list and we focus on plant. For 15 and 16, the two units that I really recommend 
is Anand Lee and Julius. Because both of them have CC. So if I can start again, and I'm a pretty hardcore reroller myself, I will reroll for Anand Lee or Drewis, and then plus someone else. Maybe I think I will still target, uh, let's say, a uh, sort of B. Let's show all the units. Sort of B is a great unit. Uh, Eternity, probably. Uh, if I have Centrion, I'll put it at the back. I will not use Centrion at first. I'll, I'll put all my resources in Beaker Bloom or even Anli and Rebus. Okay, uh, next, if after the reroll, so what should I get? I need another DPS, so I will find any other DPSs. Like, uh, let's go to the CN banner. Where is this? Okay, let's go to the CN banner. So this is 1.1, uh, 1.0 banner right so after the reroll if I got BK Bloom okay if I don't have BK Bloom I will try to get one here if I but since I'm a hard core reroller I'll most probably already have her or the plant team settle so I will be getting I will be pulling on this banner to get Charlie or any other DPSs. But if I have two DPSs, then I might wait. Wait until 1.1 because I need to cover the beast type. With by uh, because I'm not rerolling for century on. Right. So if I'm using Charlie or MBK Bloom or Drivis, or even Anli for my plant team, they are the five star are much cheaper and I can get through the limbo stage much easier my problem with the my units right now is i put too much resource in the i3 uh, and this element is not yet useful in version 1.0 as well as entry on they are both resonant 10 uh, sorry i believe this is resonant 9 so this might be not be the answer and for side cubes i'm still testing out the two side cubes and I will not claim which is the best right now. Okay, so the plan is to get plant unit to just reroll for plant unit. I saw online that people use Ananli to and BK Bloom to burst the 16 and 15 stages. And then after that, uh, for version 1.1, Earth is dash one and then Beast is dash two. So I believe beast is the more important uh, element. So since in version 1.1, you have Melania, get Melania, and then you have version 1.1 also covered. So in that case, I can cover version 1. Uh, also in for Melania, you get her light, uh, sorry, side cubes for free, her best in slot, as well as uh, basically free material for Melania until I treat. So, in that case, I have covered both of the limbo stages. Or oh, as a conclusion, why I think uh, reaching this end game need to beat limbo is because uh, this reverse nine nineteen ninety nine is slightly different from the Hoyoverse end game. You know, uh, as Genshin, we have uh, Spiral Abyss and Memory of Chaos in Honkai Star Rail. Both of the game, the stages do not grant you resources, right? She, they only give you the Primo Gem or the, the draw currency. But in this game, the Limbo stages, it actually consists of a resource. By completing this limbo stages you get more resource and then this is for the resonance so in order to become stronger you need to beat the harder content so this is slightly different for the Hoyoverse game the Hoyoverse teach you that you can ignore the end game and then can slowly grind it out until you you fully upgraded but maybe this game is slightly different 
But however, I think I do think that this is a good game. I have fun reloading for stage 15 and 16. I both of the stage I reload for around seven hours for the best RNG possible. So yeah, this is a good game. And my honest take on re upon reaching the end game with my account. And if you find this video interesting or helpful, make sure to leave a like, uh, drop a comment, uh, let me know where where is your progress so far. Maybe I can help you out or any guides that you need. And I'll see you next time.